Hi, so here we are today because the letter came home last week, the letter that every parent dreads. So this week um, I have decided to go for Cat in a Hat. I'm going to send them in as thing one and thing two. It's quite easy because I've managed to, sh managed to shop them together. Um, I've been out and got them some red tights, which they're not going to be very happy with, but I might chop the ends off and pretend they're sort of leggy things instead, which might go down a bit easier. Um, off eBay, you can order these t-shirts that are pre-printed and ready to go, or just as simple, but a bit cheaper, you can go out and get, this top was two pounds from Asda. Um, I've turned it inside out so you can't see what's printed on the other side, and just a bit of paper that I'm gonna stick on the front there, which says thing one and another one for thing two, um, with the red tights, um, red wellies if you've got them, or red slippers if you've got them, and then either go for the blue wig or, you know, easy option if the kids don't wanna wear a wig or they find a wig's itchy, hairspray. Um, and just keep things simple. They've always got so many costumes that you can, you know, choose the costume that they're happy with and then go and find a book for. Um, there's probably hardly anything that you've got a costume for that you can't find a book. You know, we've got books with knights in, we've got the Peter Pan book and we've got a Peter Pan costume. We have a lion costume. You know, I know girls that have cat costumes. Go and find a book with a cat in it, there's loads. So yeah, we've Rocco's been a Zorro before. That was a nice, simple one because obviously we've got a lot of swords in our house. Um, and you can either go for the face paint option or go for a face mask. Um, you can find a book to go with everything. You know, there's Aussie's Space Man suit. And, um, you know, get the outfit on and then find a book to go with it. It's, uh, it's great. My Every supermarket has got fairly cheap costumes if they just want to, you know, that's a Harry Potter costume, if they just want to wear a ready-made costume, if that's going to make them happier and you've got the money to throw into it, go for that. So top tip really is when your kids start school, as well as all the uniform and stuff you have to buy, I would say invest in a bit of Snazaroo face paint. The Snazaroo stuff is slightly more expensive, but you can keep it up in your cupboard and Believe me, you will have to put your kids in fancy dress a lot when they're in first school. Um, we've used these time and time again for various things, and I would say get yourself a good sponge and a good brush, and it makes it easy. And there are some super simple books that help you. You don't have to be a trained makeup artist uh, to be able to do it. You know, the thing is to get the base on using a sponge, and then use your brush to create something on top of that. And the Snazaroo paints are so good that it does make your job a lot, lot easier. Um, it's a tricky one because you will always get that child who refuses to dress up or refuses the face paints. I've had it with Degree time and time again. He ran into the school toilets once and hid because he didn't want to go in in fancy dress. And it, I had to coax him out and show him through the classroom window that everybody else was in fancy dress. Um, for him to go in just with a hat on. So, you know, try and be sensitive um, about it. I think I may have problems with thing one and thing two. Rocco's already saying he just wants to go as Harry Potter. So there we are, those are a few of my tips. I hope they help you out. Have a good World Book Day this week. <laughs>